Hey everybody, welcome to a walk and talk date. We're here in Yokohama, Japan. We're going to be walking around seeing the sights and sounds. So come along with us and enjoy the walk. First, wear a mask. Yeah, we got to get our masks on first. Nice one. Let's get this walk underway. So uh, it's pretty nice out here. Look at that. That building over there kind of looks like Tokyo Big Sight Mini, doesn't it? What is Tokyo Big Sight? Is that that convention center? Yeah. Yeah, well, it's pretty nice out here. You can see it's uh, a little bit quiet. There were a lot more people when we were walking around before, but yeah, I think it's nice. I guess the wind died down too. When we first came, it was very windy, but now it's pretty chilled out. Some people taking pictures over there. Yeah, what are those guys doing? Taking pictures of bikes. We got bikes. a little motorcycle convention here. Now, Akina, you're from Tokyo, but would you say you like Yokohama as much as Tokyo? What do you think? Um, I would say it's totally different things. So it's kind of difficult to decide which one is better for me. Yeah. It feels like Yokohama is kind of like a special place for me. Or it's kind of one of the go-to place for date, or so you kind of have a has a special feeling. Here. Yeah, we used to come here a lot more in the past. Let me see you standing by the water here, Bubba. You can just uh, chill by that railing. Chill. It's nice here, you know. Look at that. Yeah, let's check out the skyline. That's the real awesome thing about this place. That's uh, Minato Mirai. Minato Mirai. Yep. And uh, you see lots of high, tall buildings, right? And uh, on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, I think, I can't remember if that was like a New Year's Eve, uh, all the lights are supposed to be lit up. They have like very unique buildings aren't here like that one Which tower? behind us oh, okay yeah that's uh you said that's a city hall or is that a different building i think that's a different one and city hall is that uh, okay let's see city hall if it's right over here yeah i can see it now that's city hall that blue one. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, it's cool here. Let's keep walking by that thing. This is the thing you wanted me to see, right? Mm, that's cool, isn't it? Like. Yeah, it's a cool effect. Mm. I don't know why there's a massive group. Are they waiting for a boat? I think so. Let's see them there. It's kind of cruise. Yeah, there's a group of people just hanging around. Yeah. That's a cool uh, little pier, by the way. That goes to Kawasaki or something, and you see like a night view of factories, which is supposed to be pretty cool. Oh, that's the factory tour? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I want to do that. Yeah, we've wanted to do that for a while, the factory tour. See? See? Like, Kojo Yake Plus. They basically do a tour of like uh, industrial areas. Okay. 3,800 to see some factories from the waterfront. We can walk to maybe Chinatown if you want and then grab some ding ding. Yeah. Yeah, let's go to Chinatown and see what they have to offer. Actually, the place we wanted to eat at, what's the name of the place we wanted to eat at? Hungry Tiger. Yeah, Hungry Tiger, which is a Hamburg steak place. That was already uh, booked up to the max, so. Look, look at that. That view is very nice with that red brick warehouse and all the modern buildings. Yeah, the waterfront. And then we see that intercontinental and the blue line must, uh, the three blue, like uh, emerald green lines just behind the Ferris wheel? Yep. 
Oh, oh that's, that's the one. one. Yeah, yeah, you can't really see it on this video, but um, we stayed in that. Two of those hotels we see there, we stayed at. A friend of mine worked, or he still works in the tourist industry. He got us these free vouchers for some really awesome expensive hotel those hotels are real expensive so we got to enjoy those yeah nice so we're gonna go to chinatown boss yeah i think so let's hit it up maybe because it's by the sea the air feels pretty cold air feels cold it is but i thought it would actually be colder so i'm kind of pleasantly surprised well, that's a good thing about Japan, right? Like, the winter never is harsh. At least in Kanto, yeah. Maybe on other areas it's cold, but... Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cute. Ah, oh, I like this corner a lot. There's some cute little uh, cafe things here, huh? Yeah. You don't really see this kind of things in Tokyo, maybe because of that area. I don't know, maybe because of the atmosphere. It feels different. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Cafe West. Well, that dude had a little uh, light on his bicycle wheel. That's a cool diner. Restaurant, bar, coffee shop. Penny's Diner. Not bad. That's pretty cool, actually. I guess it used to be like that. Oh, this is what it used to be that area we were at. Okay, nice. It's called Zoro no Hana, means tongues, tongue of elephant because it looks like tongue. Was it tongue? Trunk? Trunk, yeah. Nice. Okay. I feel like I'm actually there, Bubba. I hope you are. Yes. Wow, that's awesome. You see some lights in the sky? Yeah, there's some lights going up into the air. That's cool. There are lots of people tonight. It's a lot more colorful to the eye. I think this camera is not picking up the colors. It looks like a rainbow out there. But, uh, yeah, I'm loving it, baby. Okay, let's go. I guess this is the picture zone because a lot of people are hanging around here. Why was that woman carrying a doll? <laughs> yeah, I think this is where the diamond princess was docked. Oh, really? Yeah, that thing. Had uh, Osan Bashi. Osan Bashi, that's where they docked that I diamond so. princess. Maybe. Because that's that's the place that big cruiser parks. Okay. So Wow. I guess yeah, you can't really see, but trust us, it's there. It's like a dock. I would love to live in Yokohama. It would be nice. It's a pretty chilled out city. I would say the access is not too bad to Tokyo either. If you take like a Keihin Tohoku line, then that's pretty accessible. And it's probably cheaper than central Tokyo, so that could be good. Really? Oh. After all, this is in Kanagawa, so like things are not as expensive as in Tokyo sometimes. Okay.
Oh, that's nice Bay Bridge. Bridge. Bay Bridge. Let me get a view of that bridge there. Bay Bridge. Bay Bridge. No, no, repeat after me. Bay Bridge. Bay Bridge. Nice. They got some boat action down there. That's police boat. Okay, like Coast Guard or something. Or just oh. straight up police. Police. Wow. It's, it says Kanaga police. Okay. Yokohama is a lot darker than Tokyo. You think so? I think so. It's not as bright, which I like. Yeah. yeah. Well, we are, we're often going in the Tokyo area, I guess. Like, sometimes we go to Tokyo Station, and that area tends to be darker, so I'm kind of comparing to that, but... Still, it's kind of darker here, right? Like, yeah. Tokyo Station area is a lot darker compared to like Shinjuku Shibuya But still, Tokyo Station area is brighter than this We're by the water though, so There's less buildings and stuff, but yeah, I think it is kind of dark, you're right Yeah Everything is kind of spaced out here, so It kind of creates more dark area, I think Yeah And I think things are kind of shorter than in Tokyo, so so it looks like we're coming up to that park you were talking about. What's the name of this park? It's Yamashita Koen. Yamashita Koen? Yamashita Park. Okay. It's pretty famous for... Famous as like a date spot. Nice. So now we are at Chinatown and hopefully we can grab something for dinner. How's that? Yeah. Let's get something here. Yep. That is it. Tapioca. Chinatown, baby. Maybe we could buy some buns or something as omiyage. Yeah. Then eat them as like breakfast tomorrow. Yep. People are not really looking straight ahead, huh? Yeah, I gotta look straight ahead with this gimbal, but some people they're just texting and walking. It feels a lot less crowded. <laughs> it does, yeah, it's uh, not too busy. I know I've come here sometimes and it's just crazy crowded. Sometimes I will just give up to walk through or eat here because it's too crowded. Right. This isn't too bad. Uh huh. Wow, it's really, really less crowded. It's pretty good actually. Yeah, I think it still looks crowded though, but not not by the normal standard. Yeah. I I recognize some changes. This was definitely not here before. This on the left. Uh huh. This. Bubble tea thing? Ah, okay. Let me just see it for a second here. I guess it's just a normal place, huh? Yeah. It says Nama Tapioca, which is like a raw tapioca, which kind of indicates that they didn't even dry the thing before they cooked or something. Okay. Oh, you remember the onion tofu that I usually make? Out of a supermarket box. That shop is over there, which okay. I really like. It's What's the shop name? Heichino. Oh, okay. It's a bit expensive side, but I like it. <laughs> nice. You know, they are doing this ticket thing, go to eat thing. Yeah, what's the go to campaign, boss? So they do go to eat and I go to travel campaigns by the government. There were 
lots of argument that grandma is wrong. But they go still. to, yeah, because they use the English grammar in the name, which go eat. Like go to, go to campaign. Anyway, they try to incentivize people to travel and to eat out. Yeah. So. Long story short, the government gives you some money if you try to go eat or go travel. Yeah, they pay a portion of it. So or you get like a reimbursed ticket or something. Yeah, and for this go to eat thing, if you buy like 10,000 yen amount, which is like 100 bucks, then you get 25% of premier. Yeah. This is the place. Oh, this is the Anin Dofu place? Yeah. Nice. Let's see the menu. Yeah, let's check that menu. Oh, so... Not bad. What do you want to eat the most, Bubba? Uh, what? Vegetable and a trifle oil grill. I feel like everyone followed us here. So <laughs> Happens. I'm, I'm gonna get out. We have this phenomenon where if we go to a place, it feels like people directly come after us. We are trendsetter. Maybe they would come anyway, but it just kind of feels like they follow us. Like we saw this cool, um, we were in Tokyo last night. Tree? We saw this cool Christmas tree and it was inside of a building which no one was in. like. It looked like the lobby to some kind of uh, office complex. But it was open, so we just went in to take pictures. And as soon as we went in, like, people just started going in as well and taking pictures. I was like, man, it feels like a zombie apocalypse. And they always have, like, this aura that is kind of implying, like, Get the hell out there, get the hell out there. Yeah, they're kind of trying to hustle you up so that they can take a picture, but it's like, we were the ones that originally had the idea, you know? So, it's 7.30, so I guess we should maybe decide where to eat. Yeah, we should figure it out. Maybe we should get one of these pandas, boss. I don't actually want it, but um, I want to sit down and eat a proper meal, but that panda's looking pretty awesome. Like a panda bun. It's like Ueno, ne? Yeah, Ueno style. Anyway, we were just walking around trying out this gimbal, doing the whole walk and talk. So we're gonna eat Din Din now. Thanks for coming along with us, everybody. We might try making some of these videos again in the future. So thanks for watching this video, everybody, and we hope you have a real nice night. Stay safe. <laughs>